Hello, good day everyone. This is Richard again for another edition of Learning with Rich. It's a very fine day here in Singapore. So hope all you guys are doing well while watching this video tutorial about uh, creating legends in Legend in Revit 2016. Okay, so that is what I'm going to teach you. So in this exercise that I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to create a legend by creating a legend view and adding legend components, text, and dimension to the legend view. Alright, so let's get started. So in this exercise, uh, the lines are already created. Okay, so I'm just using the sample file that, that the Autodesk has. Okay, so this is their sample file. So they already created here the legend, and then they already created the lines here. Okay, so as you can see, you have here six, uh, six rows table is displayed in our view, and it was created by using the line tool or detail line. Okay, the detail line can be found on your annotate tab, and then you can see here the detail line. So this is the tool that they use to create this table. And then if you're wondering how to start to create a legend itself, so all you have to do is to right click the legends here and then you can select here legend. Okay, so you just select that and then you just have to key in here the name of the legend that you're going to create. So let's say for example, I'm going to type here uh, door legend and then I'll just accept here the scale and then I select OK. So as you can see, it's now created here, all right? And then all you have to do is to create now the boundary for your legend by using detail line. You can select that, and then it's up to you what is the dimension of the detail of the legend that you are going to create. So it's up to you what will be the dimension, all right? Okay, so I have some topics on how to use detail lines so you can refer to that uh, videos, okay? So it's something like this, okay? So you can just uh, create the boundaries using the detail line, okay? All right, okay, so it's something like this, all right? So no need for me to redo the whole process as it will take time for me to finish the, the, this video. All right, so I'll just going, I'm just going to delete this legend that I created all right, so this is now the legend. So in this exercise, a window legend is already created. Okay, so what I'm going to do first is I'm going to add here a legend component. So that is uh, the most important that we need to place here on our legend. So we need to have the legend component. So where can we find this legend component? The legend component can be found on your annotate tab. And then you will see here from the detail panel, there's the component dropdown. So you can see there's the legend component. Same location like your detail component and repeating detail component. You can also see here your legend component. All right, so I select the legend component. And then from my options bar, there's the family dropdown arrow. So here you can see the list of the family that you can use to create your legend. So in this exercise, I'm going to create a legend component. I'm going to add legend component to our window uh, legend. So let's say I'm going to select the arch top. Okay, so I select this from the family list. And then you can specify here what will be the view of your uh, legend component. So let's say I'll just leave it on the floor plan. And then you can also change here the host length. Okay, so let's say I'm going to type here 1,200, uh, 1, right? Then I'm just going to place it here, okay? The exact position is not critical for this exercise. So I just place it there, okay? And then after that, I'm going to change the view. So instead of floor plan, this time, I'm going to use a front, okay? So I'm going to place it here. This is the front. And also, this is the back. So I'm going to place it here. You can use the align command if you want to, uh, if you want your legend components to align with each other. So like, for example, I select the modify here. 
there's the align command okay and then after that you're going to select the reference for alignment which is this one for example in my case I want this as my reference I click that and then after that the side that I want to align all right there you go Okay, and then after that, I'm going to add another uh, legend component. I'm going to fill this up. So again, from the annotate uh, component, legend component. So this time, I'm going to look for casement. So I select the casement. So I select here the uh, plan view. Let's say 1,200 again. Plan view, all right. 1,200, I'll just place it here. And then I'm going to use, again, the front view, same with the first uh, window, okay? And then, aside from going to the modify, if you want to access your align command, you can type AL, or I already placed it here on my quick access toolbar. Okay, so I can select align, and then I can just pick, pick there you go. Okay, so I'll just continue placing my legend component here. So legend component, so I'm going to select here a uh, double hang trim. So I use here the plan view. And say I'm going to use again uh, 1200. Okay, and then I place it here. I use the front. I use the back view. There you go. I use the align command. Just to make it uh, look nicer and then the uh, last but not the least okay legend component I'm gonna use here the double casement trim okay which is this one so let's say the plan view here uh, one so I'll change that to 2100 there you go so I place it here and then I use again the elevation front and then the elevation back all right Okay, so now that I have completed placing these components, this legend component, so the next part is I'm going to add text to my legend view. Okay, so again, I have a topic on how to use your text. I think it's under the detailing. If you want, you can uh, refer to that video. So I already discussed there how to use the text tool. So I'm going to use the text tool. And then, this is the size that I'm going to use, 6mm. Okay, just select here, align to center. And then I'm just going to place it here. Okay, so this is where I'm going to place the title. Okay, just somewhere here. Alright, then I type uh, window legend. Okay, so window legend. And then I'll just select modify. I click this. I just move it. Up using my arrow on the keyboard so window legend and then I'll just continue creating another text okay so this time I use what about the size okay so same size I just use 6 mm again and I'm gonna place it here okay so this is my number okay so I'll just place it there Okay, so maybe I'll just use copy here. So I select the text and then I use the copy. And then I use multiple if I want to copy the text multiple times and constrain it to constrain the move direction to horizontal only or vertical. Okay, and vertical. Alright, so it's just like ortho in AutoCAD. So I'll place it here, place it here, place it here. So this will be the name. Okay, so name, this will be the plan. Okay, so this will be the elevation. For example, for front, oops, front and back. Okay, elevation, front and back. Oh, it's a bit bigger, so maybe I'll just change the font. I... Uh, Okay, so elevation, front, and back. Okay, so elevation, front, and back. Okay, then I'll just adjust this. <laughs> okay, I'll just 
the jazz. All right, there you go. So I'm gonna I'm going to make this a going to make this uh, bold. So wait. Mm -hmm. Just create a new type. Duplicate this one. Okay, bold. Bold text. Click. Okay. All right. Okay. So after placing the legend components and the text, so I'm going to create here a detail line to create the the tags here. Okay. So I'm going to create. Let's say, for example, the shape is something like like this. Okay, so I'm going to create this. So I just need to create this manually. If I don't have a loaded family created. Right, so I just mirror this to the other side. Alright, so I just move this. And then I'll just create a line again. So, line 2. And then after that, I'm going to select the text here. I'm going to look for uh, 2.25. So let's say this is my uh, W1. Okay, so this is my window one, for example. I'm going to place it here. All right, so I just select that and then I'm going to move it. Okay, so I'm just going to place it here. There you go. And then I'll just copy this. So I select the element and then I copy. Okay, and then after that I place it here. Copy multiple times. And then I just edit the text. So this is my W2. Double click. Uh, W3. Double click. Uh, W4. All right. Then after that, I'm just going to type now the text for my, the name of my window. Okay, so maybe I'll just use the 4 here to type the text. Okay, for example, this is my uh, arch top fixed. So I just uh, drag this to move. Okay, I just select. Uh, copy again, and then I can double click that to modify the text. Alright, so this is my arch top. This is my casement. Okay, this is my double hang. Double hang. Enter to go down. Trim. And then this one is my uh, double casement. Enter trim. There you go. Okay, so I just finished creating the text for my legend after I placed the legend component. And then after that, I'll try to add dimensions to the legend component. Okay, so let's say for example, I want to add a dimension here. Okay, so I'm going to select align dimension. So I click this. And then I'm going to place it here. So I click this one. One, two. There you go. So there's the text. And then I'm going to place it above. Just like that. Okay, so same with this. So I click this. I click. I click above. Just to have a detail. Okay, so I click this one. This one. I click above. And then this one also. So I click this portion. So I click it here. Click. There you go. So I just finished my legend. The window legend. So it's pretty manual compared to your schedule. But yes, that's how you create legend in Revit 2016. Actually, not only for 2016, but also to the lower version. You need to create it like this way. 
Okay, you need to create the line separately, the text, the symbols, the, the legend component. So you need to place it there manually. Right, there you go. So hope you learned something from this video about creating the legend. And I'm going to create more video tutorials about Revit again. And hopefully you like watching my video. And again, thanks for watching. And until then, take care.